It's the Traveler and Paimon! Hello, you two. It's been a long time. Were you having a really serious discussion right now or something? Just a regular catch-up. We meet here once in a while to go through any recent developments in our research projects. Ugh, so we just missed him! Maybe we should have hollered to him. He didn't look in the best of moods just now, though. Was he upset about something? If so, he probably wouldn't have been in the mood to help out anyway. Huh, upset? You mean Albedo? Yeah, he wasn't looking his usual self. Upset? Uh-oh, I wonder if... What are you looking at me for? I wonder if Timaeus's research topic is... is so boring that Albedo finally snapped. Surely not. It's not that boring, is it? <laughs> nah. Anyway, Paimon wanted to ask you for a favor, Timaeus. A favor? <laughs> well, well, sure. How can I help? Well, Paimon found a bunch of super-duper sweet Sincedias in the mountains the other day. But if Paimon eats them all, then they'll all be gone, so Paimon isn't ready to finish them all yet. Paimon was thinking maybe you could make a device that you put fruits in and it turns them into juice. That way... Oh, yeah, I'm afraid that sort of thing is a little... Uh... Huh? Seems pretty straightforward to Paimon. Can't you do it? <laughs> Paimon, I I'm afraid you've entered into the realm of the weird and wonderful with this one. <sighs> okay... So how about you, Sucrose? Any idea? I'm sorry. It doesn't sound like it falls within my area of expertise. I could give it a try if you really want, but... I'd probably just end up giving all your precious fruits arms and legs. Whoa, your tone is so calm, but your words are so terrifying. Huh, you'd think I'd be used to this by now. Well, as you know, my focus is on bioalchemy. Besides, keeping things fresh forever is just not possible. Alchemists usually focus in on their own research areas. Take us, for example. Timaeus, Albedo, and I all have very different research foci. Paimon, your idea is very imaginative, but it's beyond Timaeus's and my ability. I don't think even Albedo can make such an incredible device. After all, Al- Huh? Well, excuse Paimon for overestimating the power of alchemy! In fact, before Albedo showed up, everyone in Mondstadt thought alchemy was useless. Of course, we know better now. But even then, I... Uh, Paimon just wanted some fruit juice! What's wrong with that? Oh, of course, these are just Timaeus's and my subjective opinions on the matter. If you're really intent on pursuing this wondrous device, you can try your luck asking Albedo. But I wouldn't get your hopes up. If he has no idea how to make one either, you'll have to give up on the idea. Oh, he doesn't seem to be in a good mood today. He won't. Albedo is not that kind of person. heading to anyway? Dragonspine? Unless he specifically says otherwise, Dragonspine is where he usually goes. He seems particularly fond of that place. And somehow, the cold doesn't seem to bother him at all. Then let's go to Dragonspine to find him! Come on, there's no time to lose! Lively? What's the occasion? Let's go and have a look! Hey, Traveler and Paimon! Fancy meeting you all the way out here! Amber? Cyrus? Halid? What's everyone doing at Dragon Spot? Oh? The Traveler is joining us too! Oh, <laughs> great! Fantastic! We I agree. I feel much better with the Traveler joining us. Definitely the kind of person you want. Oh, right! Paimon remembers most these people are from the Adventurers Guild. Uh, then again, it seems a certain Outrider is doing too. <laughs> 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 
the Adventurer's Guild is holding winter training on dragons. As you know, our members have varying levels of adventure experience. So, we made a plan for senior members to pair up with junior members. This way, everyone can experience training on Dragonspine together under safe and controlled circumstances. Now, every adventurer can progress together. I've been working on this grand plan for half a year. Hey, you are an outstanding adventurer. Sure! Is the adventurer's guild short on experience, Nim? Well, that's part of it, actually. The other reason is, when I was patrolling the perimeter of Dragonspine, I found a lost kid named Joel. I heard he lives here on the camp, so I escorted him. I know. Joel's father went missing. I totally sympathize with how much Joel misses his family. Dragonspine is so bleak and just. Aww, Amber. Anyway, I wanted to do something to cheer Joel up, so I said I'd build a snowman with him. It's something he enjoys doing. It also gives me a chance to stay here for a while and help Cyrus out. Aw, really? Think Let's go meet up with Joel then. Oh, I... Hey, Cyrus, we've got to take off. Is that okay? No problem. Go... We're here! <coughs> Hi, everyone! <laughs> I'm so happy right now! It's nice to have so many people to hang out with. Are you here to build a snowman, too? Build... a snowman? Oh, sorry. I forgot to do the introductions. This is Eula, the Spindrift Knight and Captain of the Knights of Favonius Reconnaissance Company. Amber, you're being far too formal. The child is never going to remember all that. Please, just call me Eula. <laughs> okay, Auntie Eula. You can call me Joel. Auntie... Eula? Uh-oh. Eula's gonna add that to her long list of scores to settle. All right. If that's what you want to call me, go right ahead. Whoa! Eula just let something go for once? Amber, what's this I hear about a snowman? I came to assist because you told me the Adventurer's Guild was short-handed. Yeah, that's something else. But look, Joel's at the age where he should be- He used to build snowmen with his- Besides, Eula, it's gotta be more fun than taking an ice bath all by yourself. <laughs> Let's combine our forces and build ourselves a huge- Yep, yep! Count Paimon in too! Paimon wants to build a snowman! Hmm... Auntie Eula, are you too busy to join in? If so, it's okay, I- <laughs> No, nothing like that. My then let's get started. First, we need to split up into teams to gather some supplies. Joel and I will be on one team. You and Eula can be on the other team. Hey, Joel, see that huge tree over there? Want to race me there? <coughs> yeah, let's do it! Wow, it's hard to tell which of them is... Hey, what's up with you two? Why are you just staring at each other without- Um... Well... <clears throat> Joel probably hasn't spent much of his life in the city. He doesn't know me. And he doesn't know what the Lawrence name means to the people in Mondstadt. Right! That's why he calls me- True. In his eyes, I'm just another ordinary person from Mondstadt. It was a surprise, but not in a bad way at all. <laughs> How very perceptive of you. Were you staring at me the whole time when everyone was talking? The truth is, I'm a little concerned that I might be quite inept at building s- I have never built a snowman before. My upbringing was very strict, and after I grew up, of course, it's not the sort of- Oh no! I'm starting to- You sound confident. Enough small talk for now. Greetings. We have a slight problem here. We've done a head count, and it turns out that we have an odd number of participants. In other words, we still have one instructor slot left to fill. How it happened was, we originally asked Fischl to be- Thank goodness you are here. Oh, hello. My name is Gerald. I'm a new adventurer. Hmm. In that case... <sighs> Fine. But for that, you will pay. Huh? Pay for what? Okay. I got it. 
I'm ready and willing to learn. Good, good. If anybody else signs up later, I may have to ask for your help as well. Why did you give the spot to Yula? Oh, okay. To be honest, Yula really is the best candidate for an instructor. Most people would find it hard to co- Oh, now Paimon gets it. This must be the whole reason why Amber got Yula involved in the first- Um, we were supposed to find supplies, but now Yula's busy with other stuff, and, uh, Paimon doesn't feel like going around collecting things. How do you- Strange. Didn't they say they were going this way? Where the heck are they? Did we get here too late? Have they moved on already? Brings you to Dragonspine. Oh, so it was Albedo all along. All along? Oh, what do you mean by that? On the way here, we kept hearing weird noises, and it felt like someone was watching us the whole time. Turns out it was just you. Honestly, you really gave us the creeps. If you're bored up here, go find something useful to do. Don't go sneaking around scaring the poop out of people. The things you felt and heard could easily be attributed to animals, or bandits, perhaps. You should be wary at all times in this environment. There are all too many ways to sustain losses here if you aren't care- So, what business brought you here? We actually came to look for you! But then it turned into looking for Amber, but now we've met you, so we're back to that again. Hmm. Your thought process is rather chaotic. As is the way in which you articulate it. Hey! How dare you! All Paimon's trying to say is that we came here to look for you! Oh, is that so? Then it must surely be something of great importance. He seems to be in a better mood than we thought, right? Huh. Okay, let's... Let's just forget that ever came up. That's okay if you can't tell me about it. Just treat this as an opportunity to stroll on the mountain and enjoy the view. So the truth is, we're here on adventurer duty. Ah, oh, I see. So, you foisted the rookie off onto Eula, so that you could wander off and- We're not goofing around! And Eula was the right person for the job! We were just being nice. What about you then, huh? What are you doing on Dragon Spine? A friend commissioned me to do some artwork recently, and I have yet to finish. I came here because it's a quiet place. Raw materials? For what? Paint. Star silver can be used to make high quality silver paint. I just ran out of my previous batch, so I'll collect some ore while I'm here. Ore can be used to make paint? Yes, but you have to be selective with the specimens you choose. Even with a high level of impurities, star silver still contains fine silver colored particles. 
but they lack luster, which impacts the color saturation. Interesting! So, paint aside, can you talk about how you find inspiration? Paima wants to learn! You want to learn to paint? No, no, not for me, for the traveler! Paima wants the traveler to learn how to paint. During our travels, we sometimes have nights where there's nothing to do. It sure be nice to do something memorable rather than just sit around. Painting is a great example because it can capture a mo- Yep! Why not? Once you mastered it, you can paint Paimon! Not a bad idea. Well, since you two would like to learn more about painting, why don't you come with me to the campsite? Sounds great! Oh, she'll be fine. She is a knight of Favonia. Come on, let's go! Things are missing. Nothing valuable, hopefully. It's hard to say their value. Some of my alchemy notes are missing. Alchemy notes? What they to the uninitiated, they are merely scraps of paper. But for someone who knows what they're doing, the knowledge contained in those notes is more valuable than any treasure. So you're saying only someone who knows alchemy would have stolen them? But the only people who come to Dragonspine are adventurers! I feel the same way. However, hilly trail break-ins and other such incidents are not unheard of on Dragonspine. <sighs> hmm... These appear to be... Footprints? Fresh ones. Meaning our thief can't have made it far. Let's chase him down! We can't let them get away! <laughs> From the entrance, the footprints go that way. The footprints lead up there. So they scaled the cliff! Okay! That's why we have to hurry. Huh? The footprints stop here! Our thief must have jumped from the cliff. Get your wind glider ready. We are going here. down. More footprints. They're heading to the cavern! Ooh, we got you now! Let's go in! Wait. I have an idea. I'll go in alone. Traveler, please stay here and guard the entrance. This cavern has two points of entry, and there are shortcuts inside. Cut him off at both ends. Good idea. Whoever apprehends the thief first has to notify the other party. This still. Safety comes first. We do not yet know the identity of our thief. We'll be fine. 
Okay. See you. Of course. I wonder if Albedo found the thief. This is really? Huh. Why don't we find something to do to pass the time? You know, something like... Um... Something... Oh! Look at all that star silver over there! Why don't we gather it up for Albedo? It's right next to the cavern. So yay! Let's get started! I was unable to catch him. He was faster than I'd imagined. Uh, oh, so after all that, we still don't even know who the thief was still. We won't be going back completely empty-handed. Uh, mining? Yeah, for star silver. Look, we got quite a lot. It's just like you said, some are really bright and shiny, and others just look like regular lumps of... Star silver... Uh, <laughs> I was merely saying what was on the front. Well, you said they can be turned into paint, so we got pretty curious. Also, if it weren't for that thief, we'd be making paint by now anyway. Anyway, it's all the thief's fault for wasting our... Yes, it's all the thief's fault. The notes mean a lot to me. I'm not quite ready to get... Oh, just one thing. Do you want us to bring all this ore back, or did you want to sort through and get rid of the useless bits first? There's no point in bringing the bad ones back if it'll ruin the quality of the paint. <sighs> Indeed. The sorting process is necessary. Humans' useless things should be disposed of at the... Right! Saves a lot of time that way. Efficiency first! Help! Help me! Wait! Did you guys hear that? Was that... A cry for help? It's likely an adventure in danger! Okay! The voice is definitely coming from around here! Is anybody there? Help me! No way! Is that? Hmm? Is that the Traveler and Paimon? It's me, Bennett! Whoa! It's really him! Let's get him out! So sorry to trouble you guys again. The been rocks mixed in with the snow on the tree. It wouldn't have made me all dizzy when it fell down onto my head. And then I would- Bennett? In a cage? <laughs> I won't bore you with the rest of the details. Just me being unlucky again. Yep! Taking them a- You did? <laughs> That's so nice- I know they were probably just following orders. So what are you doing on Dragonspine? Didn't Razor want to come with you? 
did you hear about the Adventurers Guild thing? They're hosting a winter camp here. As one of their veteran adventurers, I'm here to help out the rookies. Razor is not an adventurer, and as the leak, but now I've been stuck here for so long. Oh! Wait, so that guy Gerald who got left in the lurch, he was supposed to be paired up with you? If so, sorry, Bennett, but you really did miss it. He got paired up with a different instructor instead. What? Weren't they short on instructors? Where'd they suddenly get extras from? A few people from the Knights of Avonia stepped up in order to help support the event. So they ended up with more instructors than students. Knights of Favonius. Right, right. And besides, after all the trouble you've gone to show up as an instructor, Paimon sure Cyrus will put you to work. Really? For sure. Hey, wait a second. Where'd Albedo go? Albedo? You mean, the alchemist from the Knights of Havon? No, he just happened to be on Dragonspine. We were just with him, but then... Hmm. Could he have gone back to keep looking for clues? Let's go back to the cavern and see if he's there. of albedo this is weird where is he this is great dragon spine's so fun today there's so many people around it's never usually like this this was where we heard bennett's cry for help right we heard its voice and went straight over to rescue him then we noticed albedo was gone huh so he just didn't feel like helping us save bennett wait what what are you talking about? Oh, Alberto! Where the heck have you been? We've been looking for you! I should be the one to ask you that. Didn't I tell you to stay at the cavern entrance? Huh? I'm not really following who was waiting for who, and I apologize, Alberto. I don't fully understand what's going on, but it seems like it's mostly my fault. No, no. Bennett, this is not because of you. You needn't blame your traveler. Clear this up for me. What was the reason that you left the cavern entrance? <sighs> there you are. Stay right there. You have a lot of explaining to do. What? Me? Huh? You, huh? Aren't you supposed to be helping the new guy? <laughs> yes, that's what I would be doing. If I hadn't been interrupted by a certain someone's malicious scheming, Albedo. I saw you taking Jewel towards the wasteland at the edge of Dragonspine. That place is crawling with monsters. What the devil do you think you were doing? Uh, uh... Whoa, 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 wait a second. What's going on? Actually, wrong question. How much stuff is going on? When I came to stop you from leading Jewel any further, your first reaction was to throw the child down and attack me. When I fought back, you quickly fled. Care to explain? Uh... <sighs> I see. Interesting. Interesting? <laughs> you are. Uh, it sounds like you met an imposter. Someone who was impersonating me. Impersonating you? To what end? It is difficult to draw a definitive conclusion for now. But these strange incidents do seem to be connected. Your alchemy notes were stop- Yes, we can confirm that! As things stand, I don't have any reason to harm the child. Whoever you met is likely to be both the thief who stole my notes. Of course, it's entirely natural for you to be skeptical of my story. I was separated from the Traveler and Paimon for a significant duration while we were pursuing the thief. But the Traveler and Paimon can at least testify that I was not the individual who tore up the campsite. Albedo, do you have any enemies? Could it be one of your enemies impersonating you to get revenge on you or something? I don't have any enemies. And I'm not aware of having given anyone cop- There is insufficient evidence to assert what happened with any certainty at this point. Given how serious the situation is- Eula, I won't discourage your ongoing suspicion of me if you can't believe my st Traveler? Paimon? Bennett? If you are willing. 
I welcome you to monitor my activities beyond this point so that you If I am what this imposter wants, he will come looking for me again. <sighs> I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. As preposterous as- I will keep Joel safe. If you need- You have my gratitude. As far as Amber goes, I will- Eula! Eula! Where are you? Amber, we're here! Eula! Oh, and Traveler, Paimon, Albedo, and Bennett, you're all together. Great. Bennett, I'm glad I ran into you here. Cyrus was telling me you still hadn't shown up. He w <laughs> Yeah, I ran into a little trouble. Thanks for your- Sure thing. Well, now that i found you, let's go check in with Cyrus. Uh, but before that, has something come up? How come you're all gathered here? Between us, there have been a few minor incidents. But nothing I haven't already dealt with. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's my fault, really. So, it's all set then? Sure, I'm ready to go. <sighs> Very well. Let's go. And then there were three. Traveler, can we talk somewhere else? Let's go to my camp. My camp is somewhere that we can talk openly, without- Wow! What a mess! Thank you. I- I've been absorbed in my research lately and haven't attended to the dusting. It's due for a cleaning. Thank you. Both now that everything is in order... You look really serious right now. I remember I once told you that you must have questions, and that I would answer them. I also said that, while I did not wish to deceive you, there were certain things I could not go into detail on. <laughs> I am a synthetic human being. A human forged by human hand. A synthetic human? What the... How the heck does that work? When the pinnacle of attainment in alchemy is combined with unimaginably vast learning, the apex achievement is the creation of human life. When you say Conria, do you mean... I am indeed somewhat older than my appearance might suggest. But when I came into being, Conria had already been destroyed. I have no memories of it. My master raised me and taught me everything. Like her, I am a pure alchemist. I live for academic knowledge. Nationality and identity are not what ultimately define us. Traveler, what is your general feeling toward Dragonspine? You've visited numerous times now. Rhindaughter created two miraculous beings. One is me, and the other is the venomous dragon, Durin, who died here. Durin? So that makes you guys... brothers? As sons of Rhine daughter, Durin and I are indeed inextricably linked to one another. The phenomenon of our creation defies definition within the scope of a typical human worldview. But if we may tentatively call it birth, then yes. Um, speaking of Durin, his power was quite special. That's right. Because of this, whenever strange things happen on Dragonspine, it always makes me wonder. For instance, the feeling of being watched that you described, as well as the sounds you heard. Oh, right! Paimon knows what you mean! When you and the others were here just now, the Traveler gave me a look as if to say, don't say anything. Probably because it would only make you more suspicious, so Paimon kept quiet. But Paimon noticed that you came out of the cavern not too long after going in, and you told us that you didn't manage to catch the thief. 
Then we heard Bennett calling for help, so we went to rescue him. But strangely, you didn't come with us. And when we got back to the cavern to go find you, suddenly you were the one looking for us. So, it seems that you met my imposter too. Well, if so, it was a pretty good impression. He had you down to a T. We never would have guessed. Also, after he left us, why did he go after Joel? Perhaps Durin's power drives people to madness. But that's merely crude conjecture. Whether someone is impersonating me or there is another false me out there, this is a cursed tale, and it is not one whose weight traveler. Perhaps you should return to Mondstadt if you have no further business. intending to participate in that in that case we'll be sure to pass good then okay let sounds good to me but please whatever happens put your safety first at The Winter Shogun approaches. Finds your face. Green cutter.
Witness the power of Shuwa. Know my sword. Rain outlines your. You shall perish! Shattered. Uh -huh. <laughs> Let me weave you a purse. No, my sword. <laughs> Let's light it up. Teamwork is dreamwork. Torn to oblivion. <laughs> <laughs> Let me 
a momentary destruction. Momentary destruction.
Everybody stand back! Inazuma shines eternal! Let me weave you a verse. No, my sword! Nice and spicy! Let's light it up! Illusion shut! You're toast! Finds your fate. Ah, even better than I imagined. It's my lucky day. Adventure time!
Good things come to those who don't wait around. That's what they say anyway. Knowing my luck, the opposite is probably true for me. <laughs> Want to take to my <laughs> another test subject? Everybody, stand back! <gasps> Remove all obstacles. Have a little taste. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Add the frying pan into the fire. <laughs> uh, picked the wrong test subject. 